back up your system state. Then the unthinkable happens and you need to restore Active Directory. Maybe you went in and you deleted something and now you need to restore it. There's two different types of restoration we have. We have what's called authoritative and we have non-authoritative. When I do a non-authoritative restore, the machine that I restore, this lower machine down here, is going to then replicate any changes from the other domain controllers. This is very useful, let's say that this domain controller fell over and died, you know, hard drive caught on fire, whatever. I can grab my, my backup, I can restore using a non-authoritative restore, it comes back online, then it contacts the other domain controllers and says, hey, what changes do you have? And then all of these changes are going to be replicated down to this domain controller. It makes it pretty easy. This is great if you have, you know, a recovery from a failure. But what if I do something silly? What if I go in and I delete an organizational unit and I didn't have it protected, I don't have the Active Directory Recycle bin installed, and so I delete it and I let it sit. I let it set so long that this change, this deletion of the organizational unit and all the subcomponents replicates to all of the other domain controllers. The problem with that is, is that when I restore, if I use a non-authoritative restore, when I restore this machine, this machine will have that OU back, but then these other domain controllers will replicate, delete it, delete it, delete it, and then this will delete it and we're right back where we were. So if I need to replicate from the restoration to everybody else, I need to do what's called an authoritative restore. An authoritative restore sets this version of Active Directory to the last serial number, the absolute last serial number. And then when it contacts the other domain controllers, they say, I have serial number 25. What serial number do you have? Well, I have serial number 99999. And so then they say, oh, you have the latest version, and it pulls it from the backed up machine. So a non-authoritative restore is great when you have a machine that fails. An authoritative restore is great if you have an Active Directory that is corrupted, that you need to modify, that you need to restore to an earlier point, and you need to send it to the other domain controllers. So authoritative versus non-authoritative. And they give you kind of a scenario on how you would do a, an authoritative versus non-authoritative. What you would do is, is, let's say Monday I back it up, including backing up my critical volumes, including the system state. Monday we have a hard drive failure. Tuesday I created a uh, user account on another domain controller. Wednesday I finally get the hard drive repaired and I get it reinstalled. Then what I will do is I will restore Active Directory to this damaged machine using a non-authoritative restore. It will bring it back up and running, but then it will replicate down that user account that was created since this machine has been damaged. We have a scenario for an authoritative restore. So Sunday I back the whole thing up. Monday, uh, the big boss was deleted in Active Directory, which not only deletes a user account, but also deletes the SID. So now all the permissions that was assigned to that user account, well, they're no longer there. So what's going to happen is, is that if I create a new account called Big Boss, <laughs> okay, has a different SID. Not the same group memberships, not the same permissions, the uh, digital certificates are all gone. That is a huge problem. So what I would have to do is I would have to do an authoritative restore. If I did a non-authoritative, that user account would come back, and then the other domain controllers replicate and delete the user account. So I would have to do an authoritative restore. Now, in order to do this, I have to get into what's called Active Directory Restore Mode. 